<laughs> hey guys, welcome to my room. Uh, sorry about all the mess that I'm not showing you. We're in my room because I wanted to show you something uh, that I recently unearthed from all of the powers of childhood in here. These are my personal diaries from year 8, uh, when I was 12, 13. Uh, basically, uh, our teacher at the time just gave us these blank books and said, fill them with whatever you want, uh, they're yours. So I filled mine with comic books. And um, contained within these pages are several episodes of my long-running and highly successful superhero series, Toxic Dude. And by successful, I mean a few of the guys in the class used to read it sometimes. Toxic Dude is basically the story of a stick man who gains superpowers after being exposed to the blast of a random atomic bomb that just happens to be going off nearby. Uh, it's mostly influenced, in fact, by Dragon Ball Z. You can probably tell just looking at the book covers that I was, uh, I was quite into Dragon Ball at the time, um, as well as sort of Metal Gear Solid and uh, The Simpsons and football. I haven't changed. Um, I thought what I'd do is read you an episode of Toxic Dude, if you don't mind. Now, obviously, to be clear, these are rubbish. The drawings, the plots, um, it's, it's all pretty bad. But, as an insight into my sort of 12, 13 year old brain, maybe a little bit interesting. I was going to read you one episode, my personal favourite, Toxic Dude vs. The Dragon. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to run for quite a while, this video. It's, it's a long episode. Uh, you probably do have better things to be doing, um, and it's probably not the best use of your time, to be honest. But, no? St still watching? Alright. Let's read some Toxic Dude. I'm going to show you Toxic Dude Episode 8. Toxic Dude vs. The Dragon. During the Tokyo Tournament... At last, my ultimate creation is completed! He may be an infant now, but in three years' time, me and my dragon will rule the world together. It's a shame that I must wait for him to mature. Suddenly... <gasps> no! You... Can't! I created you! He died. Three years later, many changes had happened since the Tokyo Tournament. The biggest of all was Chicken Lips. He changed his ways, and now fights crime alongside Toxic Dude and Biohazard. Not saying they get along! Despite this, Toxic Dude is still the strongest superhero in Super Dude 2. Uh, I should clarify, Super Dude 2, that's like uh, Toxic Dude's power-up. It's um, basically the equivalent of Super Saiyan, if you've ever seen Dragon Ball Z, um, where he just gets stronger and his hair goes yellow. Same thing, I just stole it f from Dragon Ball Z. Um, if you don't know what a Super Saiyan is, you've never seen Dragon Ball Z, put a little link in the description box below. But yeah. One day, three years after the Tokyo Tournament... Whitening! Protection! Excuse me, whitening protection, protection whitening. He's holding a tube of aqua fresh. Shut up! Now, just to be clear, uh, that's a reference, I believe, to an old aqua fresh Too Faced advert that was uh, going at the time. Um, I, I don't really remember it, but, you know, it's, it's quite clear that that's what it is. Suddenly, what the? Biohazard? Me? Oh no! Toxic dude, I am Biohazard from the future. I must warn you, but I am nearly finished. Biohazard, there is one way that I can save you. Fuse with me. Fuse? If we use our biofusion technique, we will become one being, and although you wouldn't be the same, you could survive. It will mean a permanent change in look, but at least we will both survive, and our strength will greatly increase, and I will know all about what happened to you. Okay then, I guess we should fuse. Biofusion technique.
Whoa! Toxic dude, you are in grave danger. In six days from now, a giant evil dragon will begin to destroy Earth. It will start here in England, and you are the only one who can stop him. But that is not why you are in Dangur. In Super Dude 2, you could destroy the dragon, but there is another reason why you are in Dangur. Top writing this. Three days from now, you will a deadly heart virus. There is no cure. You have no choice but to die. So, I'm just gonna... die? As much as I hate it, that's what will happen. Killed by a virus? What a waste. And you can see here that I've uh, misspelled waste in the context that I meant it, so um, I've rectified that by drawing a little picture of a, a lady with a giant bulging waist, and Toxic Dude's eyes are being diverted to that, so what he's actually saying is, wow, look at the giant waist on that chick. However, there is a magical shrine in China that COULD bring you back. It's risky, but if we are lucky, the shrine god might just grant our wish. If it doesn't work, then not even I can destroy the dragon. Civilization would be doomed. Toxic dude did the last few things he wanted to do and awaited the arrival of the heart virus. That's nice. So that's the end of book two. By the way, that's the cover art. Yeah, yeah. You can already get a glimpse of what the dragon's going to look like. Exactly like one from Dragon Ball Z. On to book three. Five days after the fusion. This is it. At 8am tomorrow, the dragon will arrive. I'm sure somewhere Toxic Dude is looking down on us. Oh, there he is. Hey there. That's a nice joke. So why didn't he get that heart virus? I don't know, but it might have been something to do with me coming back to warn you. I'm not sure, but travelling through time like that might have altered the future. So, Toxic Dude isn't going to catch the virus? Probably. But we can't rule out the chance that the virus will still strike. We've got to go. The dragon arrives in 15 minutes. Oh, that's uh, six days after the fusion, I should say. If only Toxic Dude was still with us. But he's still not back from the supermarket. <laughs> Same joke again. Here, catch up with us. We have to go. Wait, I left the TV on. We interrupt this program for a special news flash. What the? An evil dragon is destroying the city. So far, Toxic Dude has arrived to stop it, but there has been no fighting yet. We've got to go. The dragon has arrived! Oh no! Time travelling must have altered the arrival of the dragon as well! We better go right now! Meanwhile... So you're the dragon. I've got to say you're big. Who are you and how do you know who I am? I am Toxic Dude, the world's strongest superhero. It's true that you have a high power level, but there are others. Two other great powers are approaching us fast. That's got to be Biohazard and Chicken Lips. Hey Dragon, you want a challenge, right? Not really, no. Um, well, wouldn't you love to humiliate me in front of my friends? Not particularly, no. Jeez, how am I supposed to make him wait for my friends so that we can beat him? And then they arrive. <laughs> what took ya? They're pretty fast, to be honest. I think that's a bit uncalled for. Without you two to back me up, I don't think I could take him. These are the two I was talking about. I will now read your power levels. Power what? 1600, not bad. 1600 again. 
and 1700. That makes you the strongest. I expected a little better for the Earth's best hope. Does that make Biohazard our only hope? What he doesn't know is that this isn't our full power, remember? Oh yeah, when we go Super Dude 2 and Super Chicken, our power levels will rise. Hey Dragon, why not check out our full power? What? <sighs> no way! I had no idea that you could increase your power level. But there is still no way that you can equal my power. Thirty-one hundred, not bad. Your power has almost doubled, but you still have no chance of winning. Now how about you? No way. My senses are showing. Fifty-five hundred. Where is he keeping all that power? I can't let him know that his power is greater than mine. As long as he isn't confident, I might be able to defeat him. You ready to fight yet? Okay, but I must warn you, you stand no chance. Let's go. Toxic Dude, let us help you. No, Toxic Dude is the only one who can beat the dragon we would just get in his way. Speak for yourself. Whoa! Oh shit! Oh no! He's gonna throw him! What the hell is wrong with my reaction? I could have dodged that! Whoa! Oh shit! <laughs> What is wrong with me? I can't seem to fight properly. Why am I so out of breath? I just don't feel right. Hey Biohazard, what's up with Toxic Dude? No, not now. This is the worst possible lime. Uh, time, probably. What? What are you saying? He's clutching his heart. No wonder Toxic Dude can't fight properly. The virus is attacking his heart. Heart virus? It can't be. I, though, we avoided the whole heart virus thing. I told you, it wasn't 100% avoided. But if Toxic Dude is gonna die then, doesn't that mean the Earth is doomed? Probably. <laughs> there still might be a way, but first things first. We've got to get Toxic Dude off the battlefield. What's the matter? Losing breath already? What's wrong with me? Toxic Dude, get out of there now! The virus is attacking! Wait a second, I've got to beat the... Ugh. Toxic Dude, say something. He powered down. Looks like my battling was too much for Toxic Dude. Actually, a heart virus is attacking Toxic Dude. Technically, you won't have defeated him. We'll see about that. Fireball! Toxic Dude! No! Oh no, an egg has landed on his beak. <laughs> Alright, I think what happened here was um, uh, I must have been using the wrong highlighter by accident and I, I drew orange on his beak, so I've uh, corrected that by drawing a picture of an egg and, and saying that a, a, an egg broke on his beak. You killed him, you evil son of a bitch. Now his beak's back to normal. <laughs> You're paying for that. Chicken lips, no! You'll be destroyed! Ah, 
Uh, now, what's happened here is, it seems that Cliff Richard has invaded a couple of panels of this fight. Um, I honestly don't know why that is. Uh, I can't remember. It must have been some sort of in-joke at the time. Um, I'm not. I think I probably drew this, but yeah, don't know why that is. Um, anyway, there's Cliff Richard just popping out of the panels. Back to the fight. Super Ball. There he is again. Ultra Ball. Whoa. Whoa, what an attack! But it's not enough. I can still sense the dragon's power. Chicken lips! What? The dragon's power isn't zero. That must mean he's okay. I can still sense his power. What? It's true. Now that I concentrate, I can sense his power. Yeah, I put everything I had into that attack. Without Toxic Dude, it's over. There's no way. The dragon's invincible. Uh, so guys, I'm going to stop this video here. Um, we're about halfway through the episode. We're in part 22 of 45. And uh, as you know, the video has already run on for quite a long time. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put an end to part 1. And you can, uh, you can catch the rest in part 2, you know, <laughs> if you want to. Will Chicken Lips and Biohazard? be able to save the day? Is Toxic Dude really dead? And a number of other questions. Find out in the next part.